how to create a bookmark manager in notion hi guys welcome back to another video and in this video i'm going to be telling you how you can create a bookmarks manager in notion so having said that let's just jump into the video so as you can see when you first log into notion this is how it looks like so to create a bookmark manager what you're going to do is you're going to come over here onto the left hand side and create a page and once you've created a page we'll just simply call this bookmarks and then we'll just simply create an empty page and then we'll head forward slash and create a page and we'll also call this all bookmarks and then we'll turn it into a table and then we'll create a new database right here as you can see so now these are all the bookmarks right here so this is how it looks like if we go back bookmarks and then there's all bookmarks and immediately what we're going to see is we're going to see these columns we're going to remove these columns since we do not need this for now so we're going to create other properties later for this one we just simply come over here and name right and we'll change the icon to this bookmark option and we'll also change the table icon to a bookmark icon as well just to keep things simple and uniform now that that's done we'll create another property and this will be a checkbox type of property and we'll just simply call this favorite there we go and now we'll just push this back and of course we'll change the icon to a heart like so and we'll also move this column right in the beginning there we go then we'll create another property and over here we'll add the url which is going to be links for our bookmarks like so and then we'll create one final property which is going to be formula and of course we're going to add a formula right here and we'll just say is favorite like so and over here we'll also create another icon and we'll keep this one as like this one there we go and we'll also push this back or something like that now what we need to do is when let's go ahead and fill out a few of these but before i do that let me just delete these two lines and in over here we'll type a formula underneath the is favorite icon we'll type a formula which is going to be this one right here now what this formula stands for is if property question mark is equal to true then there should be a heart all right and which is going to be over here that's why we named this one is favorite so of course it doesn't include a question mark so we'll just remove that and we'll click on done let's go ahead and remove this just in case if property there we go and then we just simply click on done Oops, sorry about that and now we just simply add the formula and it should work then you just simply click on done and you are good to go now what does this formula do well it does this exactly if there's a check mark over here click on it and it'll have a heart emoji right here and you can even change the emoji as well so you just simply select the emoji click on emoji keyboard and then just simply replace it with your heart with the heart you like or any other emoji you like even the check mark or this one or that one any emoji you want you can go ahead and replace it and you are good to go so it depends on you so there's the heart emoji there's the orange heart emoji the green the yellow the blue purple there's also this sparkly one the red ones the white one the one with the arrow and all of that a bunch of different hearts so you can choose whichever one you want it depends on you so then let's just say that for this purpose of the video it is going to be this sparkly red one and now we'll just remove the other emojis and boom there we go so now whenever you add your bookmark right here and it's going to be favorited so what you can do now is just simply go ahead and duplicate that because if you click on new you're gonna have to do this exact process over and over again because over here now what i recommend is deleting the previous lines right because if there are previous lines created and then you do it then it won't work so that's why i deleted the previous two lines that were already created now if i just simply click on add new right and i just simply click over here and just add new bars i just simply check these boxes and they'll automatically have the formula so you don't have to worry about that so now what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna fill out this form add a bunch of bookmarks and move on like so and then you can just you know make some of these your favorite like so and you are good to go 
So now let's go ahead and go back to bookmarks. And now what we're going to do is we're going to create a quick view type of something. So to do that, we just simply click over here. All right. And type forward slash and create an empty page. And over here, oh, we don't need to create an empty page. And we're going to click forward slash and we're going to type linked linked view of database. And then we're going to select our database, which is going to be all bookmarks. We're going to select that. And there we go. Now that we have that, we are going to close this and there we go. Now we have a view of all of these bookmarks. So what we want is to change the view and to only show the favorited ones. So to do that, what we'll do is first we'll hide this database title, hide the database title, and we'll click over here and click on properties and click on layouts and to simply click on list. We can change the view as well. Or you could go with a board view or a calendar gallery. It depends on you, a timeline as well, or a table as well. So for me, I think a list would look good. But yeah, then we come back over here onto properties and we make them to show us the links and is favorited as well. It should show us that, but it's not because it's the layout is different. So it just mess around with the layout and change it however you like it. I think a gallery would look much better. So if you come over here and click on, let's say filters, if we click over here onto properties and we go with is favorited, as you can see, it shows us that. And it also show us, it should also show us the links. And now we'll move the links right over here underneath the heart. And yeah, it looks much better. Now, of course, we're going to have to click on the filter and we're going to choose favorited. There we go, is check. Therefore, it only shows us our favorite websites. All right. Of course, we can, as I said before, change the layout. So since we've chosen gallery, let's go ahead and go with a small cards right here. And we say non. All right. No content of view should be, you know, shown. And this is how it looks like much more simpler and cleaner version over here. You can quickly access your links if you click on them and just simply go ahead and access your favorite bookmarks and instead of gallery all right we'll go ahead and rename it favorites or something like that like so and we should be good to go and yeah after that you could just hold this and move it right here underneath bookmarks and you should be good to go and that is how you create a bookmark manager on notion so that is it for this video guys hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did be sure to hit the like button subscribe to the channel and turn on post notifications and i will catch you guys in the next video and until then take care and goodbye